Oh man, okay. This box. One second. Should I pee now? So recently, I have really been practicing what I preach. And so not too long ago, I decided to finally upgrade the launch pad. It's about darn time. So let's put this guy up here. This box right here is a big deal. See that? Jeez, that's heavy. Holy crap. Oh man. Did it not come with a power? He is lucky that I have. Okay. Whew. Looks like it works there. That is so cool. Holy crap. That is freaking beautiful. <laughs> date with this so I'm gonna just put you guys away and it's much later now actually like five or six days later now I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys up on that guitar hook so we can look at the push okay guys so this is the push and so I've taken some time to get to know push I've taken some time to get to know the push now and so I want to go ahead and explain some things here so the whole idea of the Ableton push is to be able to control everything from an instrument, basically. Ableton itself is something that's on the computer. It's a software, and so with this, you can do things like press add track, and then scoop through all of the different built-in tracks in Ableton. So I can look through drum racks, and I can listen to them. And so I could say I like that one, and I could load it up. And now, Ableton arranges this pad in a way that's going to allow me to be creative with what I just select. So I could go like this. And so, if I select the kick, you can see all the kick hits. If I select the snare, you can see the snare hits. So this top part becomes a sequencer. Combine that with things like note repeats, do stuff like that I mean you're really working with fire here now a cool thing that differ differentiates the push from the launch pad is that this has much more of a brain than the launch pad does for example I could add a track select something kind of synthy like a synth lead that's analog let's go with that as you guys can see it's automatically laid out with blue and white keys. The blues are the roots and the whites are the non-roots. So using the scale button you can select, okay, I want um, a super Locrian scale in the key of A and now it becomes that scale. Whereas when you're using the launch pad, it's entirely chromatic. And you can't even see a lot of those notes when you select a scale. Now, of course, you can turn this option off. You can decide to go out of key, and so it will light up the notes that are in your scale, and you can still play the ones in between it. The whole point is that this has a brain that allows you to select scales, do note repeating, and all sorts of things. In other words, the push is the much more intelligent 
device, the fact that it has knobs and that you can control effect parameters automatically. Not only that, but some of my favorite effect packages are supported miraculously. You know, take Waves. Classic 76 compressor on this bad boy. You can see, at least, hopefully you can see, that all of the different things that you can edit on the computer are automatically mapped to these buttons. So this is what the plugin itself looks like, and then you can see you have input, output, attack, release when the CL76M uh, is selected. So by simply moving the attack knob, you can see I'm able to adjust all these parameters by simply turning the knobs. So the push is amazing. There's no doubt about that. I love it. Um, it does seem to have a shortcoming, and I'm going to be addressing that in the next video. To give you guys a little hint, I basically think that the push would be really well complemented with another device, and so I'm going to see if I can snag one for super cheap um, off eBay, and we'll see. And so how I want to finish this video is by making a song solely with the push. And while it would be really cool for me to show the difference and actually show every bit of the song making without cutting, I don't want to do that in this particular video. If you guys want to see that, I'd be glad to do a video on that. Just let me know in the comments below. But for this one, we're just going to make a quick track that will be available for my $5 patrons. Yeah, so let's do it. Let's start with drums. Go with a this plugin takes quite a while to load. for one of the best plugins ever invented. Here she is, and it's not a beauty. Not a beauty at all. Max Bass. With an interface from the 70s. To be fair, it might be from the 80s because Waves has been like pioneering plugins, so thank you Waves, by the way. If you're looking for anyone to sponsor, I would love to do you the favor. <laughs> Basically what Waves does is it allows you to add in harmonics above your sub bass. Let's turn that off. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's sick. Okay. So now that deep sub bass, never been able to hear on your speakers. Hopefully now you'll be able to hear them. Let's throw some more on this track. I like that, that's sick. Let's lay down a quick vocal line. All right, check, 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 all right. Do you think you could love me? Perfect, there it is. I just wrote that off the top of my head. And I think for this, I'm going to do some reverb. Do, do you think, do you think you could love me? Do you think you could do the things I need you to? Why was that not recording? I'm gonna throw a vintage compressor on. Do you think you could do the things I need you to? Sweet. Do you think you could love me? That, nah, that's not right. Do you think you could love me? Not quite right. Do you think you could love me? We'll see on that. I might be running slightly behind. 
I'm so close to finishing this song though. Transposition, we're going up 12 because I want to double it in an octave higher. It's going to sound funky, but... Well, that's a song and that's an episode for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as I said earlier, this has some shortcomings and I'm going to be attempting to fix that in the next episode of the vlog. So if you feel like it, hit the thumbs up button, maybe, if you want to. And um, yeah, we'll be back with a new device, hopefully next video. That's it. Peace.